Hi Sagittarians, welcome to your reading. This is the weekly energy reading for October 28th through November 3rd of 2019. So this can be for your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, um, or you felt drawn to this video for any other reason, or if it's somewhere else in your chart. Um, we are gonna be doing a beginning, middle, and end sort of spread for the week. Um, but before we get started, I want to give a, well, promote myself, but I want to give a shout out to my sister. I think I'll get into that because um, she made a, a website for me. So I officially have a booking website. Woo! And there will be blogging on there as well. So I'm going to start blogging. So I'm excited to do that for anyone who wants to get to know me more and kind of know how I got here and who I am and all that stuff just had some oatmeal but yeah it's very exciting news so um, if you guys are new to the channel welcome I hope you enjoy this reading I hope it resonates um, and just for everybody please check out that website if you're interested in booking a reading with me or if you are just curious in what the website looks like I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on it I'm sure my sister would appreciate to hear what you guys feel about her website what you guys think um, and yeah, thank you all for being here and channeling in with me. So I hope this message is a good one for you guys. So let's see. So we've got the beginning of the week here where we've got the two of wands. And this this is the one card that kind of spun a bit. So this might be reversed. Um, and then we're getting the Wheel of Fortune. And it says Pegasus. So the two of wands and Pegasus is a very beautiful energy. Or sorry, ten of, not ten of anything. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune number ten. So... To me, what I'm getting is you are giving something to someone. That is what I'm getting. At the beginning of the week, you might be giving something and that energy, it's because you are in a very high vibration. You are very grateful. You're feeling really good. You're feeling really cared for about yourself. Another thing I'm getting is maybe you're giving back <coughs> or, or sorry, or taking back like your power. Like you might be deciding something's not for you. You might be some, deciding something is um, not nurturing or caring in the way that you deserve. There might be a situation or a person or people um, or some energy within you where you're um, not giving yourself enough credit or um, you're being, or like you feel like you're not being fully appreciated by a certain situation or something or person. So that's a message for if this is kind of reversed. But in general, I'm feeling a lot of you are feeling very grateful, surrounded by energy that's really appreciative of you. And so you are giving back to your community. You are giving back to your family, your friends, your loved ones, um, whoever it is that you, who's really been there for you. So. Um, you've been really working um, together with certain loved ones and and that's what I'm seeing and I'm seeing that that's paying off not only right in the instant like in the now moment and in the beginning of the week but I think it's gonna manifest something wonderful for you um, perhaps even throughout just this week but especially with the full moon that's um, on November 12th or 13th or something so that's exciting. So let's see where that takes you to the middle of the week. Queen of Wands and then Nine of Wands. So I'm seeing you're standing strong in your own energy in the middle of the week and you're, you're holding on to what matters and you're willing to sacrifice the the bull crap, the, the bullshit, the stuff that doesn't serve uh, you or your loved ones. See how like you as the queen of wands, you're like, I'm gonna protect my loved ones. I'm gonna hold on to what's dear to me, but I'm gonna let go and sacrifice this energy that needs to be cleansed or purged or cleared out of my own energetic system type of thing. So that's what I'm getting for the middle of the week. Um, Yeah, and I feel like you're doing this like with your thoughts or like energetically. It's like you might not necessarily, um, this isn't like cutting out any sort of 
person or behavior or, or place or thing. It's nothing like that. It's like you might literally be like x-raying your inside energy, your internal energy, and like healing yourself. You might like visualize where the pain is. You might visualize what hurts and you'll like start doing some magic and like cleanse that energy and change the energy. You might visualize your inner aura and you might see there's a bunch of red and it then brings the whole atmosphere into red. And you're like, I want green, I want peace. And you'll change that energy from red to green, you know, something like that. So that's what I'm seeing for the middle of the week. You're like, this could be meditation. This is like breathing. <sighs> you know, you might need to catch your breath is what I'm getting throughout this week. Cause you might be so grateful and having so much fun and, and so much is growing that it might feel like if you don't catch a breath, it's gonna like, um, it's gonna be too much or like, um, yeah, the energy, you, you'll be holding in too much energy. So you're, you're gonna want to breathe and release. And I think that also has a lot to do with why you want to give so much at this time, give to the community type of thing. Um, not in a way that you're um, unappreciated, but in a way that you're giving to the people who really are grateful for you and really appreciate what you do and what you give and just who you are. Like they just appreciate you for being yourself and that's why um, there's a really healthy flow of energy here with whoever it is you're choosing to give to and whoever you might choose not to give to. And I think whoever you're choosing not to give to, you've already done that kind of energy work over the last like several years or something or several months, you know? I'm getting right now, that's not really the focus because I think you've already cleared a lot of that energy out and you already know who you want to give your time and energy to. You can feel it. And so I'm getting in the middle of the week, it's like you might need to double check that. It's like you kind of wonder a bit, you kind of, you do need to kind of uh, adjust the energy exchange between you and, and your loved ones because now it's like you do understand these people really appreciate you and stuff, but there's some flow of energy you've got to work out and you gotta really hold strong in your own independent energy. And then there's a, a save for a few people who you, there will be, or maybe one person in particular at, in the middle of the week where you're like, this is solid. So I don't need to figure that out, but everything else I need to digest and analyze and really kind of create new boundaries. So there's gonna still be at least one person that I feel you're like, this is solid, this is right for me, I like this exchange. And then other people that maybe at the beginning of the week was a pretty all right exchange, you might need to take a break or take a breather from those uh, connections and, and figure that out a bit more. Then at the end of the week, we are getting the sun, very positive, so much fire energy here, which makes sense, Sagittarius. And it says Scorpius, so this is actually Scorpio's energy uh, in this deck. Um, this is funny enough, this was gifted to me by a friend and she's a Sagittarian, so um, I hope you're watching. Thank you for, this, for the Cosmos Tarot Oracle deck. Um, and I hope you had a really good Halloween. You might watch this before Halloween time because I'm recording this on the 20, um, 27th. But uh, yeah, I really hope you had an amazing Halloween. Anyways, we're getting the Hermit's energy now, the sun and the Hermit. Yeah, kind of going into your own energy, withdrawing a bit and going on like a soul journey for the self, kind of, you know, going within. This feels like the most positive thing for you to do. And I think it's gonna be very peaceful and like sort of like a vacation. I'm hearing to say staycation, where you like have a vacation, but like in your home. And like maybe the energy's kind of been like that for a while for some of you, but I feel some of you have been really working hard. A lot of you have been really working hard on like your journey, your career path. School could be another thing. Um, and it's like the middle of the week, you might like, maybe you always are consistent with something, but you might choose to take a break. You might choose to take a day off. You might choose not to go that day, <laughs> perhaps, you know? So that's some energy I'm getting there. And then once again, with the end of the week, this is a very positive, solid thing that you're in your own energy. Um, solitary journey, yeah, a journey that you do sort of for yourself, by yourself, but with spirit because um, you don't feel alone really. 
when you go on your own. When you go on your own journey, you're like, you feel excited, adventurous, fun. There's this very excited energy that you just, it's kind of like just traveling in the big city by yourself and like you meet all sorts of people, you know, but you're doing it by yourself. Or you go out on a hike out into nature or you've got like your animal spirit guides with you, perhaps cats. <laughs> I'm just doing another reference to my friend who gave me this deck, uh, this deck, but Anyways, those are the messages I'm basically getting. We're gonna do a little bit more clarification for each part of the week. So Scorpio season is treating you really nicely, Sagittarius. I feel you're, you know, that makes a lot of sense because Jupiter is going direct. I think Jupiter goes direct officially on November 3rd at the end of this week. So, and so since we're approaching Jupiter direct this whole time, I feel like you guys are feeling closer and closer to being at home. And then the cherry on top is when we reach Sagittarius season. So it's your season when you get there, you know? I'm gonna pull these cards first before I deliver the messages. So beginning of the week, just going back there with this energy here, we get communication is key. Yeah, so this there is some sort of, um, there is someone involved with this two of wands. It's not, it's not as solitary energy at first, at the beginning of the week. You're, you're still investing time and energy with the outer world, with people, with people you're communicating with. Possibly a Gemini, like an air sign. Okay. And it's like... You're able to communicate even without needing to use words. Like there's very solid communication for a lot of you with this person. So there is a very strong partnership, a really strong teamwork energy going on with that Gemini card. Middle of the week, we've got don't let your past hold you back. And it's like, yeah, it's like you're both, without even saying anything, kind of drifting into the direction you need to go because you both know that you need to go do some things and, and tend to your own energy. This person, this other person is almost like your, your inner child. It's like, you're like, I need to tend to myself right now. Or, um, you know, if any of you like, have a family or have kids or something it could be that you need to spend more time with with family for the time being or you really feel like that's the time to be in um, that could be the message as well you just kind of or your soul family so someone that really could use your love and your nurturing energy at this time and that someone is especially you of course you you know and I'm seeing that but yeah don't let your past hold you back it's like It's okay to, yeah, it's okay to take a break is what I, I just get a deeper message with that. Just continue. I feel like Sagittarius or energy is like um, very much feeling like if you don't keep going, like, you know, the progress will stop or something. But it's like, actually, don't let, don't let the past beliefs or things that kept you stressed or kept you on worker mode hold you back from relaxing and choosing a bit of a different path. I see you guys are kind of veering a little bit and choosing a different path this week. Um, it doesn't have to be a significant change, like, oh, I'm doing this and suddenly I'm not. It's like, it could be like, oh, I'm doing this, but uh, I'm gonna add more days off, or oh, I'm gonna like, if I just suddenly don't get to it, like, that's okay. Like, you're giving yourself more leeway with your path, so you're expanding is a better word, perhaps. You're expanding your horizons there. So you might be adding a little bit more to your path, but you're gonna do so in a way that heals you and releases the unnecessary stress. It makes things easier for your whole journey, for your work journey, for your health journey, for everything. All right, and then the end of the week's energy is clarified with, look at that, take time to breathe out. <sighs> Catching your breath. So that's just, that's just further clarification that these are indeed the messages. This is like super clear confirmation that spirit is saying, take a break, do something nice for yourself. Some of you for a change, um, do something nice for yourself for a change. Um, and, and relax and, and don't worry. So and now I just feel like melting into my couch and just kind of like, ah. So take a nice bath, some of you might might really enjoy like a bubble bath or um, 
a nice like bath bomb type of thing. So that is everything. Thank you all for being here and listening. I hope that was a good message for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe, or comment down below if um, if you vibed with this and you want more of this content, you want to um, support the channel, or if you want to let me know your thoughts. That you know, these are all things that I would I would love to hear. Or I all the words wrong. I said it a lot better in the other horoscope videos, but um, basically, those are ways you guys can support the channel. And then, of course, if any of you feel like you would like to purchase a reading from me or if you would like to donate, I have donation links and the link to my website down below. So, um, yeah, definitely check out the website for any of you who are curious about that. Um, and again, let me know what you guys thought about this reading. Or if any of you check out the website, let me know your thoughts on that. Um, and I look forward to doing more readings and talking to you all in another video. So. I'm going to just go now. Um, have a really good, awesome November. Have a wonderful Halloween or, or anything. Have an amazing day. Uh, <laughs> and, and that just goes on and on, you know. Um, basically wishing you all well. So I'm going to go now. <laughs> Take care, everybody.